Brethren, I don't know where I came from tonight. I don't know all these things. I, I didn't plan none of them. I don't know. But you see, the spontaneity of the Holy Spirit. We have to walk in that. You see, I, 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 I saw this with Smith Wilkerson. Okay, as I read, you know, his books. And I read, I said, Father God, look at this guy. He is coming to preach. He said, I don't even know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. So, but the moment the time comes, he rises over there, boom, he's going. He opens his mouth, the first word that comes, that's it. And the Lord rises from the depth of his being and takes over. Oh, uh, I saw that. I said, okay, Lord, how do I learn this? So you walk with me. Mm. Walk with me. The spontaneity of my spirit, look, it will be releasing you. You'll be able to speak. Don't, don't, don't worry. All right? So now I, I see I can testify. That the spirit of God is spontaneous. Mm -hmm. You don't control him. Mm -hmm. But if you allow him, he will manifest himself when you didn't even th uh, think that he would will, he will do something. Mm -hmm. The Lord takes you by surprise. Right. The Lord will reveal himself when nobody else can help, he will help. That's right. Amen. So learn to walk close with the Lord. Know him. Know him and be aware of the fact that the Lord Jesus Christ lives inside. You see, that's one thing people don't do. People don't really, they don't really think that Christ lives in them. But Christ lives inside you. Your thinking must be renewed and you recognize him. See, I, 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 I told you nowadays, okay, when I'm coming to preach, I don't worry. I don't worry. Well, you know what I do? I surrender my being to God. I said, Lord, these are your people. Mm -hmm. You die for them. I didn't die for them. The only thing I know you need is that you, you, you need my heart to be free to you. Mm -hmm. So, Father, take over my heart. My heart is yours. Yeah. Speak whatever you want to speak to the people. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to, you know, you know, withstand you. I ain't, ain't going to be a hindrance in you. Lord, I am, I am, I am available. Use me. But I have to be sensitive and hear what he's talking on the inside. See that? You got to hear what he's talking on the inside, where he wants to go, then you let him go. And then you always be surprised. You always be surprised. The spontaneity brings joy. It takes you somewhere, wow, to die tonight, God was something. Oh, yeah, because the pastor was in tune with him. Let us learn to be in tune with the Lord. Okay? I said, I asked you, who among us? All right, does not know that the apostle Paul knew Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, he knew Jesus, didn't he? Mm -hmm. All right, and how do you know that he knew Jesus? That one desire that was in his being mm -hmm. is the thing that can guide you, mm -hmm. that I may know him. Mm -hmm. I gave up everything so I can know him. <laughs> you don't give up on anything from, you know, for Jesus and you don't receive nothing. Whatever you give up to Jesus Christ, he will reward you. Yes. He will reward you for your faithfulness to him, for recognizing his, his, his need. His need is for you to surrender to him. That's his need. Amen. That the moment you surrender to him, brother, he's ready to bless your, your, your life and use your life for what he wants to do. How do you in think that the Lord will die and then come and live inside us, then you still control him? How? How, how do we think like that? That Jesus Christ, the living God, lives inside us, but we are the one to tell him what to do. <laughs> we are the one to tell him what to do. Quite unconcerned at this great madness. The almighty God, and you want to control him. Pastors control him. Pastors tell the Lord what to do. The Lord said they don't. They, they, <laughs> he said some of, some of my, my ministers, they're just so sad. But they, they don't know me. So they try to control everything they want to do. They determine what my church should hear. Ah, is that not madness? Then the Lord said, who died for the church? He said, I died. And I'm the only one who knows the needs of my church. No minister knows it. No apostle knows my need. Except those who come close to me. 
And I reveal to them what I need. And I give to them what I want them to go and, and declare to my people. You think I come here just to come and say some foolishness from my head? Oh, no. I come here, I'm ready, I'm armed and dangerous against them devils. <laughs> because I know the Lord will speak. I know the Lord will take over. The Lord is spontaneous. The Lord is master of all. Shall we allow him to be God to us? Shall we allow Christ to be God to us today, this evening? Are you going to allow your Lord Jesus Christ now to take over your life and show you what he can do? Oh, <laughs> ah, eternal, eternal life. Oh, yes, go, yes, go, yes. <laughs> Ooh, my brother. How are you? How are you? How are you? Huh? Oh, yes, God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. There was something, I asked you this question because there is something I want to read before I go to this, before I go to the scriptures. Ah, now, one thing that you should understand and you should be ready to pursue that line of action. Be ready to pursue that line of prayer because you need that. You need these things to be revealed in your heart. All right? Now, here, what I'm going to share, share with you, I have done it over the years. I have cried you know, over it over the years. I have consistently asked the Lord these questions and sought after these things. And I know I'm walking in them. I know the reality of it is being revealed in my being more and more. So I'm going to share with you, right, this from, from uh, uh, God at eventide. I have a word in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 3. I'll go there. But let me give you this. Because this is the prayer. You are going to learn how to pray. All right? Okay. It says, uh, God, I even tied April, no, April 22nd. Okay, April 22nd. It says here, it's a simple you know, cry that shall rise from your heart unto God. Persistently and consistently. You see, when you want something from God, you have to persevere. Amen. Okay? Anything you want from the Lord, you can't just take it for granted. You have to pursue it. Amen. You have to believe it belongs to you. You have to know that it is the will of God for you to walk in that. Mm -hmm. I said Paul knew God, right? He knew Christ. Right. And the Lord has told us of all the apostles... The only the apostle Paul walked with him the closest. Of all those you know, who walked with him, he said, Paul walked with me the closest. And so I honored him by revealing things that I didn't, you know, and, and trust to the, to the others. I gave him my secrets, the words of eternity. To, not to handle it for me. Don't you understand? He said, he said that, well, what? I, was, I was asked to, you know, to proclaim the unsearchable riches of Christ. He said, God, he said to me, who am the least of all the apostles, this, this, this grace was given to me. What grace? So that I would, I would declare the riches of Christ that no man can search it. I'm supposed to search out riches that no man can search out. <laughs> I'm supposed to make known the riches of Christ that are unsearchable. Amen. So how will I do it? I thank my God. I thank my God. You all don't understand me. I thank my God. I'm going somewhere. I thank my God what? Talking to him, small thing. You are slow. You are slow. You are slow. My goodness. I thank my God. I talk them tongues more than you all. That is how it is the Lord who opened it to us. Said, why, why did Paul say certain things that are so mind-boggling? Because I poured them into the realm of tongues. That channel is the channel of revelation. You say you can walk in it. That's why the Lord tells us, read the word of God, consume the word of God, spend some good time in the word of God, and then bless the Holy Ghost. Spend time in the word of God and then two, three hours in the Holy Ghost. Do that. 
until my light bursts through your being. Yes, amen. My light shines and you come in the light and you are one with me. Amen. He said, when you are one with me, what is inside me flows into you because you are walking in the light. My light is shining on the inside through the blasting of the Holy Ghost. There are some three storms that have been not, not, not dug out. The, 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 the old three stumps of your old life, the roots are still there in your soul. Amen. I got to devastate all. I got to pull down, tear down, yeah. uproot them. Yeah. And then start to you know, get some, 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 some fruit of the spirit to grow in their place. So bless the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. until my light. You see, when you read, when you read Isaiah 58, Right? What, what, what is not Isaiah 58? Who knows? Fasting. The fasting chapter. Amen. The fasting chapter in the Bible is Isaiah 58. Look at the benefits. Look at what happens when true fasting is undertaken by the sons of God. So then shall your light burst forth. <laughs> <laughs> Light in your being will burst forth. And your healing, your health yes. will shine. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my Lord. The glory, of the, Lord, the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Mm -hmm. It protects you. The glory protects you. You don't need no, you don't need no armor bearer. You got the glory protecting you. You don't, know, you don't need no, no, no police okay, to protect you. You got the eye. We got the glory behind you. He watches over you, Jesus, and you, and, and uh, you need some, what, some, 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 what, some policeman mm -hmm. to protect you. It go Jesus, <laughs> mm -hmm. brethren. I say, read the word of God. The Lord is saddened by the fact that His people don't like to read the word of God. His people don't like to read the word of God. They may read read in other books. But the word of God must be devoured. It must dwell in your being. He says, I do nothing outside of my word. And your life ain't going to be anything else but my word. Oh. He said, here. The word of God. He said, the nature of the word of God is this. It's nature. When something is given to you, when the word comes, Right, the Lord gives you a word, or uh, when you read the Bible, right, you must believe it. If you don't believe it, it does not work. If you believe the word and then you obey it in your life, your life will be exactly as the word of God says it will be. Amen. That's what the Lord says. This is the nature of my word. The nature of my word is operative, it operates, it works, it produces. The very intent of the word of God. He said when you read a word of obedience, a word of holiness, it will produce holiness in your being. Amen. You read a word of on, on, on my love, it has to produce my love. Because it is my word. So shall my word be. We come from my mouth. It goes out of my mouth. It will, it will accomplish what, what I sent it for. Amen. So my word produces the nature and the character of me, he says, produces my character, produces my nature. The word is me, he says. And if the word is me, then when you obey it, me is being formed in you. Are you, are you hearing? Amen. But people don't like to read the word of God. All right, here. He says, light comes. I like that. You see light? You see light? He says, light comes, right? Uh, are you uh, those who have your God, uh, God at even tied open to uh, our April 22nd? Amen. And then see, he says, Lord, show me thyself. You see that little prayer? <laughs> what a mighty bomb. Yes, amen. What a mighty word. Lord, show me thyself is a cry. Hear that? It's a cry that never goes unanswered. 
No, church goers. It's so sad. It's so sad to you to to to, to walk in the midst of church goers. You are. I said that when you say, "Lord, show me thyself," it is a cry that goes that never goes unanswered. Amen. No, no. Why I said I will answer that kind of prayer. I will show myself to you. I will reveal my character in your being. If you persist, you see, 